Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Church of the Immaculate Conception in Glenville, New York. Today is Wednesday, July the 21st. Father Jack Varno will be celebrating Mass with us this morning. Let us remember in prayer three of our parishioners who have gone before us on this date. Armenia Gouli, 1969, Adela Flicker, 1983, and Bernard Fiakowski, 1985. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let the perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Let us now prepare our minds and hearts as we join in prayer. morning. As we begin to celebrate the Feast of St. Lawrence, let us do so as we do all things, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My sisters and brothers, we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind our sin. For the times that we have failed to see you as our God, Lord, have mercy. For the times that we have failed to see God in each other, Christ, have mercy. For the times that we as church have failed to be a sign of God's light and love, Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us all to everlasting in life. And let us pray. O oh God, who for the glory of your name in the salvation of souls bestowed on the priest St. Lawrence of Brindisi a spirit of counsel and fortitude, grant that in that same spirit we may know what must be done and through his intercession, bring it to completion. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. <coughs> A reading from the book of Exodus. The children of Israel set out from Elam and came to the desert of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the 15th day of the second month after their departure from the land of Egypt. Here in the desert, the whole assembly of the children of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The children of Israel said to them, would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt as we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day the people are to go out and gather their daily portion that, and I will test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day, however, when they prepare what they bring in, let it be twice as much as they gather on the other days. Then Moses said to Aaron, tell the whole congregation of the children of Israel, present yourself before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. When Aaron announced this to the whole assembly of the children of Israel, 
They turned toward the desert, and lo, the glory of the Lord appeared in a cloud. <coughs> the Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the grumbling of the children of Israel. Tell them, in the evening twilight you shall eat flesh, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning, a dew lay about the camp. And when the dew evaporated, there on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the children of Israel asked one another, What is this? But Moses told them, this is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, the Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord, the Lord gave, gave them bread from heaven. heaven. They tempted God in <coughs> their hearts by, the, by demanding the food they craved. Yes, they spoke against God, saying, Can God spread a table in the desert? The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Yet he commanded the skies above, and the doors of heaven he opened. He rained manna upon them for food, and gave them heavenly bread. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels, food he sent them in abundance. He stirred up the east wind in the heavens, and by his power brought on the south wind. The Lord gave them bread from heaven, and he rained meat upon them like dust, and like the sand of the sea winged fowl, which fell in the midst of their camp round about their tents. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Matthew. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some f seed fell on paths. Birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. If we are to hear the word of God this morning, I think there is one phrase that keeps coming through 
though not specifically in word, but, else, but in deed, in thought. And that is God's concern for his people. We saw so beautifully brought out in our first reading when we, we hear of the whole story of Moses and the people of Israel and their desire to know and to understand in their frustrations, in their worries. And yet, the miraculous reality that they had food, they were fed by God. Then we also have the beautiful responsorial psalm where we hear the Lord gave them bread from heaven. And then we see this tremendous story of Jesus as he is beginning his ministry and as he is going forth doing what the God has sent him to do that the Father had given him the promise of. And that is to feed the people. And we see the response. The response was so great that he got into the boat and moved out to shore. And then he began to teach them, and to, spell, to tell them of their own dignity, their own worth, and how they were fed by God. The seeds were spread. Some fell on, others this way, that way. And what a beautiful reality, because the final word, some fell on rich soil and produced fruit. Whoever has ears ought to hear. I think that's God's call to us today. Do we truly hear the message that God continues to feed us? Feed us through Eucharist. Feed us through life experiences. Feeds us through the everyday of where we are and what we are and who we are. And so as we come to the altar this morning, we do so with a sense of thanksgiving, a sense of pride, a sense of humiliation, of, not humiliation, humility that God has chosen us, that God continues to feed us in the everyday, every moment of our lives. Do we have ears? Ears. Do we take the time to hear? And like Jesus, do we take the time to push off, relax, appreciate, and give thanks for the goodness of the Lord? And let us offer our prayers and our petitions to the Lord. For all of the times that we experience the presence of the Lord in feeding us, let us give thanks to the Lord. For those who have asked our prayer and those for whom we ought to pray, let us pray to the Lord. For all those who are struggling, who are finding life difficult, that they may find peace and be fed by the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. For Barbara Perillo, for the intentions of Michael Lockert, Lochner, for whom this liturgy is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, we thank you for your goodness for your love 
and your understanding of us as people. We ask you for the courage and the strength to continue to know you and to love you as you do us through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread and wine to offer, which earth has given human hands have formed. They will become for us our spiritual food and drink. My friends, let us pray that our sacrifice will be most acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O oh Lord, the offerings placed on your altar in the commemoration of blessed lords, so that as you brought him in glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Lawrence, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her, him Strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching. Keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we say the hymn of your praise, with, as we do, with, without end, as we acquaint. Holy, holy, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In the same way, when supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave his thanks and praise, gave that cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It'll be shed for you and for all people so that sin might be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The 
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, Howard, Bishop Emeritus, with all bishops, clergy, religious, and the entire people your son came for his home. Remember also all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, who all who have died in your mercy. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome them into the light of your, your mercy. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. God is our Father and Jesus our brother, and therefore we have the right and the privilege to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and all unnecessary anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of God's love and peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Let us join together in a prayer of spiritual communion. I wish my Lord to receive you with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you with the spirit and fervor of the saints.
and let us pray. May participation at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast of Blessed Lawrence Brindisi, that we may persevere in integrity, the gift of faith. Walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our liturgy has ended. Let us go in peace. Have a good day.